Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 8th, 2020. Well, yesterday during the market day, we learned from the CEO of Schwab that 90% of the current market rally can be attributed to just 10% of the top companies. Pretty interesting dynamic and it's something that I've kind of been talking about for quite a while that we are very out of balance with just a few of the tech sector stocks, big internet giants pushing the markets higher. Well yesterday we saw a little bit of selling. We saw a few bearish patterns showing up on the charts. So what does that mean for today? Well how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, guys, we have some additional things to think about here um, in the price action of the chart. We still have the same things I talk about over and over and over. We still have this potential trend failure rallying back to resistance and on the diamonds yesterday we left behind a bearish pattern at that price resistance that price resistance happens to be right there at that 200 day moving average and we haven't been able to really close above that um, for a period of time here we continue to struggle now, if we take a close look at this pattern in the price action, we certainly have uh, the possibility. Uh, there are folks out there that may look at this as an abandoned baby pattern where we have a gap up to this move and a gap down away from that move. So technically speaking, kind of a ba an abandoned baby pattern. If we take the three candles together, the fact that yesterday's selling breached more than halfway down through this bird candle we have an evening star pattern at price resistance both certainly not giving us a big warm and fuzzy here in the market and if we combine that with the 200 day moving average resistance and that possible failure of the diamonds um, as we rally back to the underneath side of that trend a little bit of concern being raised here um, in the market it wasn't heavy heavy selling yesterday but there was that little bit of concern overall we obviously had many more declining issues than we had advancing issues yesterday but honestly that's been the case for some time now even as the market has been rallying we haven't had a whole lot of market breadth meaning that we have more stocks kind of going sideways or in declines than we have going up yet the indexes have continued to rise um, basically with the um, heavy weighting that the big tech giants hold in the indexes. So kind of an interesting environment and a bit of an imbalance. And one has to wonder what happens if, if some of those tech companies start to sell off or profit taking comes into some of those big tech companies. What happens to the market then? Kind of an interesting concern to uh, be pondering here today as we face a pretty light day of earnings news and economic news. Let's jump forward here to the SPY and take a look at the SPY. SPY running into a similar kind of problem where we're rallying right back up to the to the underneath side of that trend and we also left behind not a not truly an abandoned uh, baby pattern because we tried to rally yesterday we rallied back up here in the spy tried to once again test that resistance level in the chart and that resistance level if you guys remember i have pointed out a couple of times is the resistance level of this island reversal up here we have a gap up four days of, con of consolidation and a gap down leaving this island reversal pattern up here we've tested that resistance here twice and yesterday that um, kind of well uh, it was it rejected um, yesterday as sellers came in now 
kind of an interesting situation. This morning we're trying to lift up just slightly. We're trying to show just a tiny little bit of bullishness here this morning. Um, but uh, honestly, pretty darn flat overall um, in the market open. So real interesting situation to be dealing with as we continue to pressure or find pressure in just a few of those um, big tech giants uh, to move higher and they continue to try and lift um, the indexes on their own. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ, obviously the strongest of the bunch, um, by far the strongest of the bunch. One thing I have to say, it does appear to be just a little bit extended. Yesterday, leaving behind kind of a shooting star pattern here on the QQQ, but this morning, um, once again, that pressure in the tech is trying to lift us back up slightly. So that shooting star top gives us a little bit of concern, a little bit of a pause. What happens if we start seeing some profit taking in some of those big techs? How how does the market hold up in that environment? Interesting question and um, uh, leaving a little stress behind here in the market. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM really hasn't been um, performing all that well. Gapping up, but selling off um, three days in a row here, and then yesterday gapping down, tried to rally back, couldn't make it through some price resistance here of the day before, selling off um, in the market. This constitutes a failure at the 200-day moving average, and that you join that with the failure of the 500-day moving average, not exactly a confidence builder in the market. Although we are still holding up above that 50 day moving average. So uh, just not a confidence builder at all in here as we continue to chop around with just a few few strong companies holding the markets up. Let's take a look at the VIX. This also raised a little bit of concern yesterday with its second hold around the 200 day moving average and then a follow through yesterday to the upside on the VIX. The VIX closing above a 29 handle, but we aren't, you know, this isn't um, awfully um, bearish or anything like that because we still have this downtrend in play here on the VIX. And we're trying to hold this price support in here right now. VIX is kind of a funny thing. It moves around with the emotions of the market, but let's watch that carefully and closely. If that happens to continue to grow, break that downtrend. Remember, breaking those little downtrends, holding them as support is where the real trouble comes into the market. So let's watch that closely, just in case that might occur. Now we do have a little bit of hope when we look at T21, T, uh, T2122. T2122 pulled back pretty strongly yesterday, and it's suggesting that we may not have that much further to go to the downside before we reach kind of a, uh, a short-term oversold condition in the market. So. Um, this doesn't give us direction on the day, but does point to that possibility of that little bit of a drift to the downside could be possible and then a bounce coming in. So we'll, we'll just want to keep a close eye on that as we um, travel on through the day watching that pretty closely. Um, right now, as I speak, we're getting this surge. It's it's so predictable um, nowadays. Um, it, well, in the last month and a half, um, right before the market opens, we get this surge, this surge of institutional uh, buying, trying to pump up and suck more money into the market. And that's going on right now. Dow futures are now up 60 points. We'll see if they can maintain that through the morning um, into the open. It's been kind of an interesting situation. It seems to be a relentless effort to continue to um, shove into that pre-market and try to create these gaps. Um, um, creating an awful lot of uh, rushing and anticipation by a lot of traders in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has a couple of things that we'll want to pay attention to, but honestly, a very light day here 
in the market. Dunk on it. A light day in the market and um, not a whole lot of concern here overall. We do have the petroleum status report today. That certainly is important to those oil sector stocks and could have an effect on the overall market. And we also have um, a Fed speaker today. But other than that, pretty light day on the calendar. And of course, uh, you know, as we go into tomorrow, we've got those jobless claims. But again, a relatively light day even heading into tomorrow. So kind of a, yeah, uh, not much going on here kind of economic calendar. If we take a look at the earnings calendar, we have about 13 companies reporting earnings today. Um, but really probably nothing that's going to move the market dramatically. We have a couple notables. We have... Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond that we will be reporting after the close today. And uh, this morning, it's gapping up just slightly in anticipation of those earnings. Um, so keep an eye on that, Bed Bath & Beyond, which has been uh, remarkably uh, almost saved by, um, by this unbelievable surge in buying. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond hasn't been a good company for some time, but we've had this, just this remarkable and tenaciously bullish rally here um, in, in Bed Bath & Beyond. So perhaps their earnings have turned around. Maybe they'll be in much better shape um, this quarter than we've seen for some time. Let's take a look at MSM. MSM will be reporting today. Um, looks like maybe it maybe it has reported or it's waiting for that report bid ask spreads a little bit wide that possibility that it could pop up and gap up above its 500 day moving average once again a company that has been in a long-term decline year over year decline um, suddenly rallying back um, in this market environment. And so let's watch that if that happens to uh, pop up this morning. Um, SMPL, SMPL also reporting today, looks like they are gapping up this morning, um, uh, apparently on a good report, popping right into some price resistance here in the chart and trying to climb back above its 200 day moving average. So let's watch that carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day and great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Hey, I wanna say thanks to everyone who takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are awesome. You continue to help the channel grow and I thank you so very much for all of those kind words of support. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up things that we might want to be keeping an eye on um, in um, this market. And I got to tell you, it's a little bit challenging right now um, because we have so much back and forth, so much uncertainty in some of these charts. But let's take a look at a few that are looking pretty decent. We had Marvel, Marvel trying to move up. Now, if we take a look at this chart and draw some trend lines on this chart, you can see we have a nice little upside trend and Marvel had a double bottom here and we broke the resistance of the center of that little W. And if that can continue to hold up in here, hold in this area, there is that upside opportunity that could come into that chart. So keep an eye on that. Marvel trying to um, hold up here pretty well and could see um, some upside potential move here in the chart. Let's take a look at a few other charts. Now, Boeing, I've been keeping an eye on. Let me put my drawings here on Boeing. Um, and I actually picked up a credit spread position in this trade, just to let you know that I may have a bias on the trade. But right now in this position, as you can see, we're trying to hold on to a trend. We look like we broke the downtrend, we consolidated that move, and we look like we were going to have that opportunity to push on through. 
Remember, there's the anticipation here that Boeing may um, uh, be progressing forward to get the seven um, seven is it 737 max uh, back in the air now Boeing still faces obvious obvious challenges with the airline industry being um, you know crushed during this coronavirus um, canceling of orders and things like that so it may be kind of a leap here in suggesting that this could go higher but notice this morning it is trying to lift up here just ever so slightly off of yesterday's close trying to lift up ever so slightly and if that can hold in this trend and hold in this support area there is that possibility that this turns around and heads back up through that level so watch that closely and carefully it is also um, obviously possible that this fails this trend and we start moving lower take a look at some of the companies in the um, software sector that have been holding up uh, pretty well AYX nice chart as you can see AYX holding up in a nice con um, rally and we broke through these all-time highs here busting through this level and consolidating that move after we broke through so we held and pushing on higher now take a look how we're just resting right in here after moving on up moving over toward that trend watch for that next opportunity for AYX to continue this this move on higher looking pretty good overall in the chart I've been keeping an eye on Cisco and as a matter of fact I do have an open position in Cisco Cisco disappointed me a bit yesterday pulling back but there's that pattern again where we've got that um, overall upside trend in play we break the downtrend we consolidate that downtrend as support and I was looking for this to move on higher to test these resistance highs yesterday with uh, the selling going on we pulled back now notice this morning we're trying to lift up ever so slightly here in this chart this could go either direction this could be a winning trade a losing trade um, watch that closely I will not let this get out of hand to the downside if um, we start to fail through some support levels here I'll be closing that trade but still holding up looking pretty good overall take a look at Oracle Oracle has been a nice little rallier here um, here's another one of those patterns where we break that downtrend in the chart we move through we hold it as support and then we move on through now notice we've broken through I need to move this line a rather significant level of price resistance in the chart so we're up here in this area and we're kind of getting a little bit of resting consolidation beginning to happen so if we can hold this trend slide over into this area Oracle might be one that you want to keep an eye on um, as we uh, continue to try and push higher in these tech sector stocks so a few stocks for you to take a look at um, and I'm I'm keeping an eye on coca-cola coca-cola has been uh, for years has been one of my favorite stocks to trade um, options in these are inexpensive it is one of those boring stocks that once it trends it just makes for some easy trading uh, for me it's been one of my favorites for a long long time and if you take a look at this chart we are just trying to lift up here a little bit trying to break into um, a break that little downtrend um, in the chart and we're trying to hold on to some price support levels here I can't tell you if coke is going to come up out of this or not but I do want to keep an eye on this after breaking that downtrend if it can hold the support in here I would be watching for that opportunity for that upside move at the same time if it fails here I would be watching for that next leg lower and a possible short trade so keep a close eye on that now one thing that's helping coke a little bit is PepsiCo PepsiCo has been lifting up just ever so slightly 
lately. And as you can see, this beverage sector trying to get just a little bit tiny higher. So we've got PepsiCo trying to lift up. We're testing some price resistance in this chart. Had a bit of bullishness coming in here yesterday. Let's see if that can pop on through, move on up, lifting that sector higher. Um, Monster Beverage is another one of those that um, you might want to keep an eye on monster breaking back through. Here's that W or double bottom type formation breaking through the resistance here. Any rest consolidation or pullback in here brings up an opportunity to resume the uptrend um, in monster beverage. So keep an eye on on that chart. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Thanks everyone who takes the time to watch and leave a comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. Be a little bit careful today. There is that concern of both sides of the market. And as the coronavirus is surging around the country, Texas seeing more than 10,000 infections yesterday. Their hospitals at hospitals are reaching maximum capacity. They've even canceled canceled the Texas State Fair as of yesterday. So really some major concerns out there. And as we head into um, back to school um, shopping season, it's going to be really interesting um, how states are going to deal with the retailer pressures on this and the concerns that parents have about sending their kids back to school um, with these infection numbers rising. So challenging times this is uh, still a very challenging time for the market so be very careful be focused on that price action try not to chase try not to rush in in a fear of missing out be very very focused on that price action and always folks make sure you remember you are uh, doing your due diligence for every trade don't take a recommendation from anyone else unless that trade fits you personally and your personal personal trading plan. All right, everyone have a great day. Wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday. Yeah, Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.